Hi guys, it's Courtney. Welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today so far. Today I'm doing a get ready with me for this look. And it's just using some of my Pan That Palette shadows, my Project Pan Eye shadows and stuff I want to use up in 2015, and some that I'm just playing around with. So I really enjoy this look. I think it's great for summer, and I am just going to work today, so I didn't want to do anything too big. But this is the look I came up with, so stay tuned if you want to see how I get it. And also I have a small haul for you guys because I did a July Collective haul a few days ago and I got a couple things since then and I don't feel like doing a separate video so I'm just going to include them in this video. So I just wanted to get these things out of the way before I get into the get ready with me. So I went to New York this past weekend and I picked up the La Vanilla Pure Vanilla Healthy Deodorant and this is just the travel size because I wanted to try it and it smells pretty good. It smells like deodorant. It doesn't really smell like vanilla that much to me, which is kind of weird, but I really wanted to try a natural deodorant, and this is the one I was really interested in trying, so I got this, and that was at Sephora. And then I also picked up one of these Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow pans, and this one comes in, I think, the shadow contour palette, and it is in the shade Pink Champagne, and it is gorgeous. I wore this yesterday, but by the end of the day, it did crease on me, but I'm not sure if that was just because I was using a Benefit What's Up highlighter, the cream highlighter that I use as a base underneath of it. I think that might have been it. I'm going to try it again. This is a swatch of it, and it is insanely beautiful. I love it, and this is what the pan looks like. I love the color so much that I don't want to return it but if it does crease again the next few times I wear it, I probably will return it because it is a gorgeous shade, but if it's just going to crease by like five hours later, I'm not going to deal with that. But it is insanely pretty. I just need to try some more cream bases underneath of it. I just don't think I blended out the Benefit What's Up highlighter in time by the time I put this on top of it. So we'll see. I really like this color though, so I hope it doesn't crease on me the next time I wear it. That's everything I got in New York. Super tiny New York haul because I only got two things. But I did have a bridal shower at my house yesterday from my cousin. So I did get some party favors in the bag she gave out. So one of them was the Fresh Paint Nail Polish in Passion Fruit. And I can't wait to put this on my nails. I haven't tried anything from Fresh Paint before. I think I've heard good things about them. So I'm excited to put this on my nails. This is a gorgeous somewhat neon pinky purple lavender color and it's really really pretty and then one of her bridesmaids made these sugar scrubs or no they're salt scrubs i think there's coconut oil in them as well so i got three of these because my mom didn't want hers and then we had extras so i have some scrubs now so hopefully these are good i think they will be because they're natural and i'm really excited to use this and then she gave me this EOS Hand Lotion in Berry Blossom, and I hope I like the smell of this. I know I had one of these before that I didn't love the smell of, so I'm excited to see if I like this scent and this lotion. And lastly, for this mini haul, I was sent my first product for product review, and it is from V2 Coat, and it is their Oxygen Mask for all night and I used one of them last night and I will be doing a full review with this product and I will let you know honestly how I feel about it because I want to be completely honest in all of my videos and all of my product reviews regardless if I was sent it or not and I'm really excited to have a company recognize me and the woman I've been talking to has been really really nice so I'm excited to try this product out more for you and this is what the little packet looks like and I think that comes with six of them. So that's everything for this mini haul so now we'll finally get into the get ready with me so see you soon. Hey guys welcome to my first get ready with me. I've actually filmed a few of these before but I haven't liked the way they turned out. One of them was like 40 minutes, so I'll try to keep this one down a little bit. First, I'm going to prime my eyes with my Lorac Behind the Scenes Eyeshadow Primer. And Emily was the one who recommended to use this, and I already had one of them. And I actually have another one that I'm giving to a friend because I, there's no way I'll be able to go through that much eye primer. And I like this so far. 
I feel like it kind of brightens my eyelids a little bit. So how are you guys? This is the nude pink color tattoo and this is the one I'm painting so you get a sneak peek at it. And I love this. This is similar to MAC Painterly Paint Pot. And of course I apply two layers because I'm crazy. But it really does cover up the veining on my lids. And I really miss MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I actually went to New York this weekend. Yeah, it was on Saturday with my boyfriend Matt. And I went to the Mac store and nothing really interested me. And I'm really surprised about that. But I saw Painterly and I'm like, oh, I miss it. <laughs> so I'm definitely going to pick that up next time I, well, when I use this up. And New York was a lot of fun. I actually met a subscriber there. I had no idea anyone would ever recognize me. And I met Allie X Dance, so I will link her channel down below. She does dance videos, some beauty videos, and other random videos, but she was so sweet when I met her. Sorry if I'm not looking up at you. And I really enjoyed meeting her. I honestly never thought that anyone would ever recognize me. It was just crazy to me that someone actually recognized me. So hi Allie if you're watching this. It was so nice meeting you and I hope you enjoyed meeting me even though we, it was really quick. We were inside the Forever 21, the huge one in New York City. And off camera I just blended that out with my fingers and I'm going to apply it in my inner corner with this Real Techniques Detailer brush. And my benefit little watts up is getting really, really low. And I think I'll be able to finish it within the next two updates because it is still enough to have for a little while. But it is really, really pretty. And just blend that out a little bit. So I'm next I'm going to go into my ColourPop Plunge Eyeshadow. Here's a sneak peek at it. It's just a champagne color and I'm trying to finish this up for my finish 13 by Halloween and I like to apply this with my Real Techniques base shadow brush so I get a ton of it on my brush the only thing I don't like about this product is that it flakes everywhere I mean there's a couple of things I don't like about it but that's one of them when I'm using a brush like it was flaking probably all over my lap and the brush is just a Synthetic brush, it kind of has a look similar to the MAC 217 or the Sigma E25, but it's definitely a little more pinched and not as fluffy. But I love it for packing on cream eyeshadow and the ColourPop eyeshadow that I'm using because the ColourPop shadow is a little more of a cream texture, so it's great for picking up the color and applying it. And this color is pretty, but I still prefer other powder eyeshadows. In it. Plus, I'm flying through it so fast. A subscriber actually requested me to do my makeup for my Finish 13 by Halloween update. So I want to do it to the fullest potential of what it was, I guess. So I'm going to use Smog, which is in my Urban Decay Naked palette right here. And I'm taking that on my e.l.f. contour brush and throwing that on my outer half, outer corner. And I love this color. I really can't wait to finish panning my Too Faced Naturalize palette because I feel like I'm neglecting some of my other darker shadows. And this one's not too dark, but it is gorgeous. And I really enjoy this e.l.f. brush, but I feel like mine's shedding really bad. So I should probably get another one. And now I'm going to go in with my Sigma E25 and the Naked shade in the Urban Decay Naked palette and blend that into my crease so there's no harsh lines. And I honestly am in love with my Naked palette still. I know a lot of people are just sick of it because they're either panning it or they've had it for so long, but I've had mine for over a year and I'm still not sick of it yet. I love it. I mean, I'm sure if I pan it, I would be sick of it, but I probably won't pan this for a few years because I'm planning on painting my Lorac Unzipped Gold palette for the year of 2016 or whenever my Too Faced Naturalized palette is finished and I've decided that I'm just going to go all out and finish my entire palette. I know in my one video I said that I wasn't sure if I wanted to but I think I am going to because I've been working on it for so long and it would just feel really nice to finish my palette. Because I do love it, it's just that I've been using it consistently and haven't used many other dark shades in my crease, so I'm kind of sick of it. 
but I have made a lot of progress on it, so I'm very proud of myself for that. And I'm sorry to jump from palette to palette, but I'm going in with this undressed shade from my unzipped gold palette from Lorac, and it is this matte highlight shade with a pinky peach tinge to it. And I'm going in on the fluffy side of my Urban Decay brush, and this came with my Naked palette, but I use it every day, so it was definitely a good brush. And I'm just going to throw this on my brow bone because I went a little crazy on my outer corner on my right eye. No, my left eye. Wow. And I'll clean up around the edges after as well. But yeah, I definitely think I'm going to pan my Lorac palette for the year because I like it, but I don't love it as much as my other two palettes. So I definitely want to see if I can move it out, even though it is a very nice palette. And then I'm just going to continue to blend because I lost some of that naked shadow. But I think I'm definitely going to clean up the edges with a makeup remover cotton round thingy. And I don't really want to show you the progress on my Too Faced Naturalized palette yet because that's the most important one to me. And I'm going to go in with my... I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Precision Concealer Brush, and I'm going to use Nude Beach, which is that shimmery inner corner highlight. Well, I use it for my inner corner. I should say very glittery shade in the Too Faced Naturalized palette. And I've made so much progress on it since my update, so I'm very excited to update you everyone this month because I think I've made really good progress on a lot of my shadows. So I go back to school in, what is it, the 3rd? So I move in on the 22nd, so 19 days, and I'm really not happy about it. School just stresses me out so much, and I want to move back because I want to see my friends, but I also love being home at the same time and being stress-free. So it's kind of bittersweet going back to school, and I'm not really sure if I'm going to like any of my classes this semester, so that's a bummer. Now I'm just going to tight line with my Urban Decay Velvet Pencil really quickly. And in that video, in my finished 13 by Halloween update, I was wearing this NYX Sunrise Blue Eyeliner. So I'm going to throw that on my upper lash line. And I'm not really sure if I can do this on camera, so I think I'm going to do it off camera and then just come back. But I'm just running a straight line on my upper lash line. It's pretty easy. That's what the eyeliner looks like. And I did clean up under my eyes and along the sides, but I'm kind of having issues with making it look right again. And I'm also blending over that champagne shade with my base shadow brush. Looks like this. But I'm going to apply my Spashbox Full Exposure Mascara. And I've been really enjoying this mascara lately. It defines your lashes without making them super clumpy and I think I just really like this mascara. It gives some length, separates them nicely, not a whole lot of volume but it is a very nice mascara. So I'm going to do my brows quick and I'm just going to use my Maybelline Define a Brow Pencil and this really doesn't do much. It just kind of sort of defines my brows a little bit. I don't go over it too much because I use MAC Omega, my eyeshadow, and I've always used that. So I'm just going over this quick just because I'm trying to finish this up. This is what MAC Omega looks like, and it is a perfect neutral brown color. Sometimes it looks more warm, sometimes it looks more cool, but I am going on my... Sonia Kashuk 119 brow brush with it and just applying this to my eyebrows. I'm very low maintenance with my brow routine. I just kind of run it through very, very gently and I don't like to draw my brows on or make them super, super defined because I really don't need to fill them in in my opinion, but I just feel better when I do because it also helps me set them in place when I put a brow gel on. So what are you guys doing the rest of the summer? I think I'm going to Hershey Park this week with my family and other than going to New York with Matt um, last weekend, I haven't really done a whole lot this summer. I went to the beach, uh, what was it, about a week ago I got back and that's pretty much all I've done this summer except for I've been riding a little bit and then I have been working a lot. So I 
really need to still try to make money before I go back, but I have just really not been doing much this summer, but oh well, making money's fine, right? My eyes are basically done, I just have to do lower lash mascara, so I'm going to start with my face and to use up my little Benefit What's Up highlighter more, I have been applying it on my eyes as a base, but also on my face under my foundation, so I'm putting this on my cheekbones, and I probably won't highlight my chin because I have a disgusting little friend right there, and it hurts really, really bad. I normally don't get pimples, but when I do, it hurts, like, a lot. <laughs> They're very painful when I get them, usually. That's done, so now I'm gonna go on to foundation, and I have been loving my Neutrogena Healthy Skin Foundation. I used to use this all the time in high school, and I didn't realize how good it was. Like, I knew it was good, but after I've been using it with my Real Technique sponge, it is just amazing. I am in love with this foundation, and it looks dark, but it really is not that dark. It blends into my skin really, really nicely, and I use about a layer and a half and then I just go in with concealer for the rest and I'm definitely going to have to cover up that disgusting little creature down there because it is huge. This is my damp, disgusting Real Technique sponge. I'm going to wash it tonight. I think I'm washing all of my brushes tonight. and. For me, I just kind of dab this on my skin, and I'll use typically this side, the dirty side as you can tell, and sometimes I'll use this flat side if I feel like it, it kind of just depends, but I am in love with this sponge. I know it gets somewhat of a bad reputation because I know some sponges are better than others. I think they need to keep the quality consistent, but mine's fine. I haven't had any issues with it except for this one little black spot that won't come out. Someone told me it was mold, but I think it's just eyeliner. Sorry, my uh, mirror was just right in front of your face. But it blends out my foundation beautifully, and it looks like skin, especially this foundation. But even my Revlon Color Stay, it makes that one look like skin as well, and that one's kind of a more full coverage foundation. I may look like a boy now because I just put my hair behind my back, but oh well. It was annoying me. So if you have long hair, you know the struggles. And sorry if I was just out of frame. I really need to work on my tutorials and staying in frame and just editing them and stuff like that. I use Windows Movie Maker as an editing program. So let me know what you guys use for editing. I know a lot of you use iMovie, but I don't have a Mac. And especially for my major and my career path, I shouldn't get a Mac. I'm going with my Mac Studio Finish Concealer in NC15. And this is a very full coverage concealer, but I love it. And just applying this to my face on my redness because I have a ton of it. I never know what to talk about for my get ready with me's. I don't really have much going on in my life other than going to New York last weekend and going back to school soon. And this is the Maybelline Femi Concealer in Fair. Putting this under my eyes. I have a very boring life. I usually am working or that's about it. And hanging at home. So very, very boring. I'm a very average person. <laughs> I was going to vlog at New York, but I didn't think about it until I was like already on the train to go and I thought that would be weird just starting out on the train because I wanted to show you my like makeup and stuff. But maybe I will vlog again if I go anywhere important because I think I want to start vlogging but I still am not really comfortable with filming in public yet. I know I have been loving Megan's vlogs or Meg's Makeup 8. She does amazing vlogs. and. Peachy Keen did some awesome vlogs when she went to Scotland. I'm actually watching her weekly makeup basket video when I am downloading my clips because my camera can only hold five minutes at a time, which is kind of annoying. But, yeah, I really enjoy Peachy's videos as well. And I really enjoy that Maybelline Femi concealer a lot as well. And especially blending it in with this Real Techniques sponge. I feel like it just blends it in beautifully. And I think that's about all I need for coverage today. Ew. I have foundation on my lip. I'm going to take a little bath in my NYX Doing Finish Setting Spray. 
every time I film a video with that spray and I'm applying it, I get it in my mouth. I don't know how because I never get it in my mouth otherwise. And while that's setting a little bit, I'm just going to show you my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and my e.l.f. Kabuki brush, which my dog Jasmine ate while I was filming a video. I was actually filming a tutorial or a makeup look, and I'm just going to apply this to my face. And I'm surprised she didn't grab my Real Techniques sponge because that one probably looks more fun because it's orange and squishy. But she grabbed my Kabuki brush and then she brought it back to me and I'm just like, come on. <laughs> But, oh well, it's still usable. I don't think I'm going to buy another one because all it is is just chewed up right there. And I've been really liking this Rimmel Stay Matte Powder with my Neutrogena Healthy Skin Foundation because, as you can see, my skin looks really glowy still. But I still have powder on and it's a Stay Matte Powder, so it just gives me a very nice glow. And for blush, in that video I was wearing MAC Warm Soul, but it did wear off because I was driving in the car for four hours and I didn't get to film until like an hour after that. But this is MAC Warm Soul. It is one of my favorite blushes. Actually, I think it is my favorite blush because I just bought Milani Dulce Pink and that one is going to become one of my favorites too because I've been using it so frequently. This is a gorgeous warm toned blush and it kind of gives me a bronzy look to my skin. That's what the blush looks like on my cheeks, and I'm just going to blend it out with my e.l.f. Kabuki brush because I like a very soft blush look. I know some people really like to pack it on. Not in a bad way. It usually looks really nice on them, but since I'm just going to work, it's probably going to wear off anyway. But I just think this blush is so pretty, and it's perfect for summer. And for a highlighter, I'm going to use Virgin from the Urban Decay Naked Palette on my Sigma E40 brush, this fluffy brush. And I'm just going to tap it off. I'm not applying it to my chin today, but I'm applying it to my cheekbones and the center of my forehead. Because I think that's where you're supposed to highlight, but that's what I do. And sorry if my big mirror has been in the frame. <laughs> for part of the video. I'm still trying to get used to this. I'm just sitting on my bed right now. I don't have anywhere that a mirror is in front of me, so I have to use the handheld one. I have to spray myself with my Dewy Finish Setting Spray again after I apply all my makeup. So I'm going to do that. And I really love that spray. It feels really good. It doesn't have an offensive smell to it, and it does make my makeup look really nice. So. That is it for the face, so now I'm going to apply my lower lash mascara and lip color. And again, I'm using the Spashbox Full Exposure Mascara. And sorry to hear the motorcycle. That's what the eyes look like. So now I'm going to go on to lips, and I'm using my NARS Rikugian Lip Pencil. I really love this lip color for every day. It's perfect for work, and that's actually what I'm getting ready for. If I haven't mentioned it, I really just forget if I did. But this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed watching this get ready with me when I'm just getting ready for work. I mean, I'm not going in for a few hours, but... I just wanted to get ready and it was requested for me to do this look and I do really like it. I really enjoy the blue eyeliner up top and it helps me get some use out of that liner because it is in one of the products I want to use up this year. Let me know if you have any other ideas or get ready with me tutorials for me to film because I really want to get into filming more tutorials and just getting ready with you guys because I feel like I don't do a ton of those on my channel but I'd really like to. I have a couple more in mind that I want to film that I probably will this week. Thank you again for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you all in my next video. Talk to you later. Bye.